from the station that's on your side. This is Channel 7 News. Good morning, Arkansas. Lee Maris with Bank of Little Rock Mortgage is here to talk about what you should keep in mind if you're thinking about buying your first home. Some really important, great tips if anyone out there is yeah. looking at the housing market, getting involved with that. Yeah, a lot of people are. Very important tips coming up there. We have Lee Maris with Bank of Little Rock Mortgage, and he's going to talk about what you should keep in mind if you're thinking about buying a home for the first time. Some really important tips. If you're yes. out there and you're looking through the housing market, you're trying to find something for you and your family, he's got what you need to know. Yeah, we're going into the home buying season, so very mm -hmm. important information coming up. Stay with us. Good morning. On Good Morning Arkansas next, we're talking about what you should keep in mind when buying your first home. Welcome back to Good Morning Arkansas. Lee Maris of Bank of Little Rock Mortgage is here this morning to help us navigate the process of buying a home for the first time. There's a lot of things that people need to know, mm -hmm. uh, and you guys at Bank of Little Rock Mortgage are really prepared to help people go through that process. Yeah, we have our own lingo, mm -hmm. and it's sometimes difficult for the layperson out there to understand what we're talking about. Yeah. Um, you know, first and foremost, come see us get pre-approved. Yeah. I mean, we've talked about that every time I'm on here. Yes. Getting you know, pre-approved is getting one of the most important yes. things. You right. can't really do much unless you're pre-approved. Exactly. And realtors don't want to drive you around town, mm -hmm. waste their time, your time, yeah. unless they know you can get the money. Yeah. So. Well, all right. Well, what is the most important factor for a first-time home buyer to consider? Well, there's several things. I mean, you know, you kind of have to know what your credit score is. Mm -hmm. You're going to want to ask what interest rates are, um, <clears throat> you know, down payment options, stuff like that. So. Yeah. Every, that's the thing, everybody has a different story. Yeah. You know, everybody has a di different income. Everybody has different credit profile. So it's hard for me just to put it all in one, you know, round peg, round hole, because yeah. it's all different. And, and getting your credit kind of where it needs to be mm -hmm. to buy a home, that's also yep. very important as well. Probably, if not the most important, it's right up there. Mm -hmm. You know, credit scores come from TransUnion, Experian, and Equifax, the three yeah. credit bureaus. And I hate to tell people when they're out there and they get on Credit Karma, that's probably not the credit score you're going to see when you come to me. Okay, so when you go to get a credit score, yeah. it may be a little different. It's going to be a little different. You okay. know, we're going to grade it, or the, the algorithms they use mm -hmm. for a home loan are different than the algorithms they use for a car loan. Or Okay, so that's a very important thing to consider. Yes, you yes. may not have the exact credit score you see on those other websites. Right, because I have people come in all the time, I got an 800, and I'm like, yeah, let me pull it. No, you don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have a 740. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, that's it's still good to keep track of your credit. Yeah. You know, and credit scores are, you know, are you paying your bills on time? Are your credit cards at a, a good balance and not maxed out? Yeah. And stuff like that. Yeah, it's all very important. So what's another important definition you mentioned was being, it was being pre-qualified. Um, mm -hmm. What does this mean? How do you go get pre-qualified there? Just call us. You know, mm -hmm. we're, we can do it over the phone. You can do it online. You can come in. And I, I, I suggest most first-time homebuyers come in, sit down. Yeah. Let's do face-to-face. -face and, and Because there's a lot of terms, and like, like I just said, that they don't understand. Yeah. You know? And you're talking about buying a home in the next couple of years after you mm -hmm. get married. And you probably want to come in and sit down and let's, let's put stuff on paper and yeah. do the math. And, and a lot of times the most important thing is can I afford it? I mean, what, what are you comfortable with paying yeah. per month? Yeah, and just so, what, what's your income, what's your credit, and right, exactly. how's it all going to work? You know, loan to value is a, a, a term on this, and that's basically the loan compared to the value of the home, you know, on mm -hmm. a, so it's a percentage, and the lower the loan to value, the less risky the loan. Yeah, well, hey, less so, risk is always good. Yeah, and that's going to get you a better rate, yeah. et cetera. So better, so, let's talk about interest rates. Yep. Um, explain what you mean by interest rate and its place in your decision to uh, purchase a home. Interest, interest rate or interest is the cost of money. Yeah. You know, we're not going to give it to you free. Yeah. You know, so yeah, I mean, it's, it, it's a yeah. process. Yeah, and, it's, and it's, it's based, your interest rate is based on how risky that loan is. Yeah. You know, you've got bad credit and a very small down payment, your interest rate's going to be higher. Mm -hmm. It's going to cost you more to borrow money. Yeah. So, well, all right. Uh, 15-year mortgage, 30-year mortgage. What's the difference? Which route should you go? Everybody in America should do a 15-year loan, mm -hmm. but we're Americans. We always want more than, than we probably should. Yeah. So you're paying it off at half the time, so a 15-year loan is going to be a lot more expensive on a monthly basis. Yeah, it's more, you got to pay more per month. Right, exactly, because you're paying it off at half the time. So I would say 75% of the people I deal with do a 30-year loan. I mean, loan. I wish we could all do 15-year loans, but to so, afford... Sometimes it's not realistic. It, exactly. And to afford more house, you know, you need to probably do a 30-year loan. But we have 25-year loans, 20-year loans, 10-year okay, so loans. Okay, so you don't have to do one or the other. You no. can kind of meet in the middle. Yeah, you can do a 25-year loan. So, of mm -hmm. course, 
to start this whole process, you got to get pre approved. Pre -approved. If people want to do that, where do they go? Who do they call? Where can they find more They can call our office at 501 219 9100. Mm -hmm. uh, go on our website, blrmortgage.com. Um, that's where I'd start. Yeah. I mean, it's. And, and you guys want to help people. I mean, it's, it's all about getting you in the best situation. You aren't, you aren't going to set somebody up for failure. Yeah, we don't have the old banker mentality, you know, mm -hmm. that mean old banker. I mean, we're here to help. That's how we make yeah. a living and keep the lights on. So yeah. we want to do loans. Yeah, absolutely. You know? well, hey, Lee, thanks for coming You're in welcome. this morning. Glad Always to be here. Always great tips uh, coming in and talking mm -hmm. about buying homes.